Stan Jabalisco here with a little bit of uh, information from my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition, published by McGraw-Hill about five years ago. You can find it at Amazon.com, among others. I will provide a link in the description of this video to the Amazon site so you can read a little more about this particular book if you think you might want to get it, preferably by legal means. I'd like to describe two different types of pressure sensors that are described in this book. One, the one you see here, is called a capacitive pressure sensor. And it does so, it, it senses the pressure by sensing changes in the capacitance between a pair of metal plates as a dielectric foam material is compressed. If you apply pressure to these plates it compresses the foam which itself does not conduct reducing the spacing between the plates increasing the capacitance and lowering the resonant frequency of an LC, that is, inductance capacitance circuit. Here is the coil inductance. This is the capacitance. Lowers the frequency of this oscillator. And then, if it's attached to a robot or some other sophisticated device, which it inevitably must be in this latter day, an analog to digital converter, ADC, converts the frequency data to something that a microcomputer can deal with and thereby tell a robot to for example go jump in a lake. That's a, cap a capacitive pressure sensor. <clears throat> the other method of sensing pressure has a very similar geometry except instead of a conductive foam, uh, non-conductive or dielectric foam it has a conductive foam between the plates and when you apply pressure to this it reduces the spacing between the plates thereby compressing the foam increasing the conductivity or reducing the resistance <coughs> increasing the current through this current sensor <coughs> which then changes that data into digital form, analog to digital converter, and on to a microcomputer attached to a robot that tells itself to go fly a kite. So once again, the capacitive pressure sensor, two plates with a dielectric or a non-conductive foam between them, and the elastomer pressure sensor, two plates with a conductive foam between them and associated apparatus which tells robots to go and do various self-destructive things. By the way I've also written books about amateur radio because I am a bona fide amateur radio operator call sign W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Go to uh, other channels on my site having to do with or my well other other locations within this channel other playlists within this YouTube channel and you'll find plenty of material on ham and shortwave radio but this material came from teach yourself electricity and electronics edition number five a link to the Amazon site will appear in the description of this video Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time, so long.